Hi everyone, this is Techno Freak here on my next video. Um, currently inside a Mate desktop, um, and I said in my Mate video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Cinnamon. Well, here it is. Um, once I get the Cinnamon installed, then I'll jump into that and show you a little bit about that once I get it installed. Cinnamon installs really quite easy. You got to add the repository. which I'll have these uh, command lines in the description. You can see that's just sudo add apt dash respiratory with their line of code. Now, oops, typed it too fast. Enter as always so that it'll make the current changes. Then we update our repository on our computer so that it knows where all the resources are to get the install and for other packages. Okay, now after that done, usually I don't get an error there, but something could be up not a big deal now here's where we actually install the cinnamon desktop and that's sudo app dash get install cinnamon and once I get this installed I'll jump into that I haven't played much with cinnamon um, but I know that It ran pretty smooth on my computer, but it took up a lot more resources. So, I probably mainly use that for when I'm surfing the internet, doing stupid stuff. Um, also, just to, to play with it and let people see it so you can make up your own choice. Like I said, I'm not a fan of Unity or even the, the way Genome 3 looks and functions it's they're they're both just huge memory resources and and hogs cpu usage out of your computer um, it's fine if you have a newer computer and you bought in the last little while but i mean most of my computer stuff is already getting towards the five and ten year old mark so they don't really like they like the old style Genome 2 desktop. And Mate's more of the Genome 2. It's based on it. Cinnamon is... I was doing a little checking up on it. And it's based on Genome 3. But with the Genome 2 kind of feel to it. And they have the updated files for Genome 3. So it would be kind of interesting for me to to play with it a little bit. Um, as you can see it's really easy to install. Now I'll, I'll cut back out and I'll be right back after I... Hi everybody I'm back. I got logged into Cinnamon. As you can see it is quite nice having part of the having the Genome 3 parts put into it because I didn't have to change my background picker picture what it was set at in my other desktops it already imported it in um, they utilizes some of the same settings so and same configuration files it kind of steals from um, which is really nice um, as for cinnamon I'll use that in my next video when I go to install XFCE 4 um, that's one of the lightest weight, easy to use, super fast desktops, and I use that on netbooks and other things that are even older computers that are just really down on resources. Um, one thing I'd like to note there on resources, uh, one thing that I do different than a lot of other people is how I install my systems. I don't um, 
start out with the latest and greatest because of hardware. Um, due to, like I start out on my older computers with 10.04 LTS and then upgrade it from there. As you can see here, we also got a couple of duplicates and it's like same one with the other one. Two different file managers, so we got an extra file manager. Um, two different solitaries, same thing with documents. When you start to install different desktops where they have multiple um, where they keep recycling your main system, you get where you get these extra ones like different files that are the same thing but are exactly the same but they're made for the other operating system. Anyway, my next video will be installing XFCE4 into the same operating system of the original Ubuntu version 12.04 LTS. Uh, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. And as always, leave me comments and questions. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Catch you on my next video. Techno Freak out.